Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made my scripture journaling card this morning when I did my devotions. After I made it, I thought, oh, that'd be a neat video to share with you guys today. All right, so let me just show you my screen. All right, so this is the card that I made this morning. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Sandy Cruz, and I create videos and products, all things... I. That's anything that you can do on your iPad or tablet that you used to do on paper. If that sounds fascinating to you, be sure and subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I have more or new I stuff to share with you. Okay, so this is very easy to do and for me, very addicting. I love making journaling cards and I have a couple other videos on my channel that I teach this, but this one specifically was for me to write out my scripture this morning. And I'll go ahead and link the other videos below because they're really fun too. Okay, so what I wanna do first is I want to add a blank slide and this is a slide because we're in Keynote and I like to call it my drawing space or my design space, but it is a slide because that's what they're called inside Keynote. All right, so one of the things that I wanna do, I have my master projects open, but I'm gonna go ahead and open a side window for my master shapes. And let's see, I'm gonna, open up my light table because I can browse my shapes a lot easier this way because it just makes the cards or the slides bigger. All right, so what I want, the first shape that I need is my journaling card. So here it is, there's the pocket cards. I'll just tap it twice and that opens it up. And these are different shapes. Um, you could have a sharp, corner or you can have a rounded corner and you can use different sizes. I enjoy making journaling cards out of the square as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this card, this three by four card. So I'm gonna press, hold, and drag it onto my design space. And then I'm gonna make it almost as big as my design space. And I don't know if you can see on the video those yellow lines. That's telling me, since they're crossed, that I am exactly in the center of the drawing space, horizontally and vertically. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is add a drop shadow to this card. So for that, I tap the paintbrush, and now I'm gonna turn on shadow, drop shadow, okay. I like to use this first one for cards. It gives it just the right amount of a shadow without making it look like it's hovering over the drawing space. All right, so now I wanna fill it. So you make sure it's selected, tap on the paintbrush again. And this time I wanna make sure image is selected. And now I want to go to replace. And since most of my patterns are in my camera roll, I'm gonna choose photo or video and go to my albums. I think it was in Summer Fun. Yes, it was. All right, so there it filled my card, but I want to make this a little bigger and then I also wanna rotate it a little bit. So I'll double tap, and now you can see I've kind of activated the pattern behind here. So first I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bigger, and now I wanna rotate it, and I'm gonna use my two fingers and rotate. And something else I wanna be sure and do is make sure that there is color in the corners. If I left the corners either on either corner white, it would look like it was cut off. All right, that looks good. Now I can tap done. Okay, so now I wanna go get my other shape, my journaling shape, and that is on this slide right above it. And I think I used this one. So I'll tap, hold, drag and drop. And one of the things I have to do is drop it outside this shape. If I dropped it in the journaling shape, it would fill it. And I don't wanna do that. 
So undo, tap, hold, and drag. And see, now my shape is separate from my journaling card. Resize, rotate, and I did that with my two fingers. And that is actually a good size right there. All right, so now um, let's move this window over a little bit. And I'm going to tap on the paintbrush. And I want to add a drop shadow. So I'm going to make sure that style is selected. Turn on the drop shadow. And I'm going to leave it at the default drop shadow. You can play around with these others. You might like them better. But this is my favorite one. So I usually leave it on that one. All right. Now I need to fill it. For that, I'm going to fill it with a journaling page of uh, digital paper that has lines in it. So for that, I need to go outside of Keynote and tell it I want it to go to Dropbox. So now I'll select it, tap the paintbrush, and now I want to make sure image is selected. And for this, I'm going to hit replace and insert from. And I want to make sure that I'm in my Dropbox. And I'm going to do a search for ruled because that's how I named this lined page. All right, so tap it. And now you can see it came in vertically. So we're going to rotate that. However, I want to also make it bigger. So I'm going to drag size all the way over and I also want to drag so that the margin that or the blank part of the page is on the top okay perfect now I can hit done and that is all finished so now I want to put that little flower that I made and I made this flower using the abstract floral I used two different sets or a shape from two different sets. So let's go ahead to my master shapes, turn on light table so that I can view easily. And I think they're at the top. Yep, here we go. I'll just tap on this one. And this is the floral set one. And I'll press hold and drag it. Remember, you can't drop it into your shape or it will try to fill it. That looks good. All right, so the next shape, let's see, where did I get that? The stem, here it is. So I'm gonna press hold and drag the stem over. And now I'm all done with my shape. So I can just slide that over and out of the way. And this needs to definitely be smaller, even smaller still. All right, and while this is selected, I'm going to go ahead and add my drop shadow and my, I'm going to fill it too. So for the drop shadow, hit the paintbrush, hit style. You see how repetitive this is? It's, you know, tap and fill, tap and fill. And you're using pretty much the same buttons, tapping. And that added my drop shadow. So now I'm going to tap on the paintbrush again and now I want to go to image replace and I know what I want to fill it with is in my albums so I'm going to choose photo or video go to my album and I'm looking for I think I'm looking for bling yep that's it and I'm going to fill it with the gold glitter and I also want to make it a little bit bigger so you can tell a little more that it's glitter oh that looks perfect all right, now I want to fill the flower. I'm going to have to move that out of the way. It won't let me select the flower. All right, tap on the paintbrush, and I'm going to add my drop shadow. And then back on image, replace, choose photo, and my albums. And I want something, a light yellow. Mm, I think I got it from Mary Everything. Yep, I did. There's my yellow right there. Okay, perfect. 
So now my journaling card is complete without the journaling part and I'm going to show you how to do that now. I do everything in Keynote and the reason that I do that is so that when I bring it over to GoodNotes and put it in my journal, it's all one layer. It's just one sticker. If I were to bring this over to GoodNotes now and then ink on it, then it's two different layers. And if I wanted to move it around or resize it, I would have to be sure that I had everything selected, including the ink. So that's why I like to do it over in Keynote and then it's all one layer when I bring it over to GoodNotes. All right, I can go ahead and close that other window. I don't need any more shapes. And now to journal, I'm going to tap on the plus and I'm going to tap drawing. And I already have the color that I want to use, but real quick, I'm going to show you that you can add a collection of color ink to Keynote. And these are some colors that I have saved. And it's real easy to save a color. You can adjust these scales up here and when you get to a color that you like you can go ahead and tap add you can also add a color by using the hex code okay for time's sake i am only going to write the book and the chapter and verse and then i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my original onto this page all right i'm going to zoom a little bit and I'm going to write, this is a little bit tricky because I'm writing vertically. Oh boy, that looks bad. Okay, Colossians, that was 317. All right, and then when I turn off the pen, I just hit the paintbrush and it turns it off. And now you can see the handwriting is selected. But I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I'm just going to go ahead and copy from my original copy and come over here and paste and I think I think it needs to be just a little bit smaller and I want to center it and I don't know if you can see this or not but there is a yellow line that tells me it lets me know it's a guide that lets me know that it's centered okay so wasn't that easy wasn't that fun all right so now I want to bring it over to my good notes this still needs to be resized so now I'm going to go ahead and select somewhere out away from my design and I'm going to choose select objects and with my Apple Pencil I just lassoed everything and now you can see it's copied everything. It just kind of let me drag across the screen to select everything. So now I'm going to choose done and then I want to copy it. And even though you see here it's in several layers, you can see each layer is selected. But when I bring it over to GoodNotes, that's not what's going to happen. So let's go ahead over to GoodNotes. And I've already added the day and date to my journaling page. And I'm just going to paste that card on. And I'm going to put it here. And I want to kind of cover up the lines that are provided for me to write the scripture out and it fits just perfectly over that area and there's my scripture card isn't that neat I love making these and I love putting them on every day and that pink matches my journal perfectly Another place that you can put this, and, and you can do this in the iBible as well because the iBible has the same template so let me go ahead and tap on the templates and I want the go to verses page. Here we go. So I'll go ahead and paste it here. So this template is included in the faith journal and it's also included in the iBible. So a lot of times I like to make these scripture cards and fill up the whole page of go to verses and I like to keep my go to verses page themed. For example, I have a whole page of God's promises to me. And then I have another page for the provisions, the way that God has been providing for me. And I'll just write out the scripture on one of these cards. And when I go to that page, it's just beautiful. Okay, and since you're still here, I have a special gift for you. Below this video, you'll find a link that will take you to 
download the free faith journal. That's the same journal that you saw me using in the video. I'm also going to link everything that I use to create my journaling cards. And I'm going to link a couple other videos for you to watch that I teach you how to make journaling cards and also some Dex cards. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. That way YouTube will send other people to my channel to learn how to create their own journaling cards. Until next time, you have an outstanding day. Bye.